what day so what was i supposed to do hey youtube fam welcome back to the channel hey youtube fam welcome back to the channel hey youtube fam welcome back to the channel today i'm here alone and i'm back with another video can you imagine i travel to Kumasi on the one city badges I bet you can't think far. Get your boots ready. I can walk you through my journey to Kumasi. Let's go. Chale, remember when we were in SHS and everybody wanted to get in front of me? Yes, that was the thing. But I wanted to know this. So what was I supposed to do? A young lady who needed a phone so badly. The only option I had was to steal 5, five CDs from my mom a day. Just to get 120 CDs to buy a Samsung S3 Galaxy. I don't know if that phone still exists. So after I got this phone, you know, baby girl was feeling like a G in, in the neighborhood. And then one day, you know, every day for the thief, but one day for the master. <laughs> I remember that fateful day when my mom caught me having this phone. She asked me, Titi, where did you get the money from? I was like, mommy, it's my money. She said, no. Which man gave you the money to buy the phone? I'm going to town by the time I come back. You are taking me to that man's house. So I became a little frustrated and I was like, I'm even tired of this house. Every time it's still with this, still with that. So well, let me just go to Kumasi. And I had this man in Kumasi who was always on my phone trying to see me. Also, at that night, where was I going to? And it was almost 11 p.m. in the evening. I decided to call up one man who was a typer. And was like, oh, it's open for me. I can come. You know, men do nothing for free. You know that, right? So, I I took off to Taifa, but then unfortunately for me, I didn't have any money on me. The only thing I had was a bag with panties, my 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 cream at that time, my phone, and a charger. That was the only thing I was carrying on me. So I got to Laboni. I don't know if you know the the old. Um, What's his name? The old governor's house. Yes, that was where I was caught by two police guards in the house that evening. So they called me to come and ask me where I was going to. I had to lie. I told them I was going to see my uncle at Taifa. And they're like, no, your uncle can't let you come see him at this time of the night. So where were you going to? I said, okay. I didn't have any option but to tell them the truth. The truth is, I just used to, to buy a phone, but my mom thinks the man bought it for me, so <laughs> she's going to beat me. They're like, oh, but this is not an issue. You're going to take you home. I said, okay, I can't go home that evening. So they're like, they're going to take me home the following day. That was a cool idea. There was the following day. <laughs> okay. We drove from there to Laboni. When we got to Laboni, I told them I was going to see a friend around. But these police people, they were not smart, girl. I left my bag, my permit, and my panties for them. I took my phone and charger. I mean, what would I need my bag and panties for? So, I think they stood there for some time and they realized I wasn't coming back. So, they had to move. I, when I got to Laboni um, school, I called the man at Taifa. And he was still open to receive me. He gave me, um, you know, some water to bath. And just after I entered the bathroom, I realized this man made an attempt to open the bathroom. I was smart enough to lock it behind. Like, how would you feel losing your virginity, being raped in a bathroom? <laughs> no, this man was wrong. So I kept so long in the bathroom. When I came out, he was fast asleep and that was the plan. But come to think of it, he still wasn't smart enough to leave the keys behind. So when I got there, I just sat there for some time. And you know, I don't know, but if you've done it before, when someone is asleep and you want to check if they're really asleep, you go and do this type of thing on their face to see if they're asleep. If they're not feeling anything, then you know, yeah, they're meant to sleep. Then I opened the door slowly, and that was where my journey to Kumasi started. <laughs> Guys, I walked. I walked. If you tell me to walk that distance for money now, I don't think I would. I really would. I was determined to go to Kumasi 
on a one Ghana CD budget. I didn't care what I was going to face on the way. All I knew was baby girl wanted to go to commerce. So I worked, I worked to, if I could say I'm only just watching this video, I can't really remember where I worked to, but yeah, your junior high school, that was where I worked to. The town, it was situated. That was where I worked to. And then baby girl was tired. I mean, I needed to find a way to get to Kumasi as soon as possible. As soon as possible. I mean, ASAP. So I saw this young lady and I was like, Pacho, you call Kumasi, but I think I should it. <laughs> So, my auntie know a good person. Yem ko, yem ko hono. Obe boa. So I went there. You know, at that time, my mom was calling. Shout out to Sega's mom. Auntie Rita was calling me. I'm so happy I met that lady. She's been an angel in my life so far. I mean, I can't thank her enough. She kept calling me. You know, her call was don't stop. She kept calling me and calling me and calling me. When I got to the shop, the lady was like, ah. Are you going to see? You said you're going to see your uncle in Kumasi. But I can see mom Rita calling you and you are not answering. I said, oh, she just wants to find out if I'm safe. Because I know. The way you're ignoring the call, mm -hmm, something must be up. I was like, no. So she took the phone from me and answered the call. And then that was where my secrets got revealed. They told them I was running away from <laughs> Can you imagine, like, how? How can I work this far and then just one transport I need to Kumasi? I was I was almost to, I was almost there. Just one transport. So Auntie Rita told this lady to bring me back to Accra. Yes. My sad ending. I was brought back to Accra. Sadly. <laughs> That day I had to stay at Auntie Rita's house. And I remember that day very well because BGM was holding an award tonight. This is an experience of a lifetime I've learned so much from. I mean, you know when your family is always there to support you. Even though they don't have at the moment. As a child or as someone who is growing up, I don't think you should stretch your hands to where it can't get to. Don't yearn for what other people have. And you should always be content of what your parents give you. Because if I had made it to Kumasi, I wouldn't know what my life would be right now. Trying to get movie roles from a producer who I don't know whether he's going to disappoint me or he's going to misuse me or just do anything to me. Thanks to everyone everyone who helped me get back to where i was supposed to be and the police <laughs> i know if you're watching this you recognize me but yeah you were you were just great I mean, you were just... so thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe peace